Right guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you the best settings for Alan Wake 2 on a GTX 1650 laptop. So um, the way I determine the best settings are three things. I want smooth gameplay, good visuals and minimal texture pop-out. Because texture pop-out has been an issue with Alan Wake since it launched uh, over a month ago. And it's not just on low VRAM video cards. It's happening on RTX 4060, RTX 4070, RTX 3070, and definitely on a GTX 1650. So um, what you want to do is you want to cap your FPS to 30 FPS with River Tuna Statistics. This is a slow game. The, the movement is slow. The running is slow. So 30 FPS is not that bad. And also the thing is you're going to get smoother gameplay and you're going to be minimizing texture pop out and you definitely want to be using NVIDIA driver 546.17 that had performance optimizations for Alan Wake specifically and it does help minimize texture pop out the two most recent drivers 546.29 and 546.33 have better performance in general with games but the texture pop out in Alan Wake there's no way to mitigate that so I'm just going to show you what you need to do in Windows quickly Right, so in Windows, what you want to do is just open up River Tuna Statistics and then add and then just locate wherever your Alan Wake 2 game is saved. Mine is in the D folder and then just select the executable and you want to set your FPS to 30 because as mentioned previously, Alan Wake 2 is a pretty slow moving game so 30 FPS isn't that bad and realistically on a GTX 1650, you're not going to get... 60 fps in every scene you're going to get certain scenes with 50 fps certain scenes with 20 or 30 fps so 30 is a good middle ground and with the settings that i'm going to show you you should be able to maintain 30 throughout the whole game and then as mentioned as well previously you want to use 546.17 because 546.29 and 546.33 i tested them extensively there's no way to mitigate the texture pop out. The texture pop out is terrible on these drivers. Right, so now that we've done those Windows settings, you've uh, capped the FPS to 30 and you've um, used or changed your NVIDIA driver to 546.17. Now we're just going to go through those settings. So in options, um, because we capped the FPS to 30, you definitely want to use mouse smoothing. Because without mouse smoothing, uh, the mouse is going to feel quite jittery. With mouse smoothing, you do um, relinquish a little bit of accuracy, but at least the game feels a bit smoother. And then in graphics, there's no way to skin the cat or uh, to dress this up differently. Uh, if you want to play 1080p balanced or quality, you're going to get tons of texture pop out. So you want to put it on performance. And then because we are playing at 30 FPS, there's going to be screen tearing. So you want to put it on V-Sync. Somehow it helps the texture pop out as well, believe it or not. And then in the actual settings, um, texture resolution, leave on low. Texture filtering, put on medium. Makes things look a little bit sharper. Especially seeing what you're playing at such low resolution. You definitely want things to be a bit sharper. Or these two volumetric settings, just leave them on low. Global illumination quality, you want to put on medium. Makes the game look nicer. Shadow re resolution, leave on low. Shadow filtering helps with anti-aliasing and just making shadows look a little bit sharper. Just put that on high. And then uh, put off screen space, ambient occlusion. Gro global reflections and screen space reflections. Put both of those settings on low. And if you do experience texture pop out, just come back into your settings. Put the setting on off and off and then just put it back on low and low and that will get rid of the texture pop out. And then fog quality on medium. Terrain quality, considering you are playing on such a low resolution, by putting terrain quality on high, it just makes the game look a little bit nicer and it does kind of offset the fact that, it, uh, that we're making the game look so ugly. Now it just makes it look a little bit nicer. Far object, low detail, just leave it on medium. And then scatter object density put on high because this is your shrubbery and um, it just looks a lot nicer when it's on high as opposed to low or medium so guys i am using geforce experience to record my gameplay so i am losing an fps here or there uh, without recording i do not drop fps whatsoever and funny enough 
the settings that I am using, um, if I change those settings to all low, I get texture pop out. But the combination of the settings that I just showed you now mitigates texture pop out. And we we all know that the one thing that actually um, uh, triggers texture pop out is once you open up the map. But with those settings, um, texture pop out is pretty stable. Um, yeah, just ignore the fact that my FPS is all over the place. I am using GeForce Experience to record. So guys, as you can see, the game doesn't look great, but it at least doesn't look horrible. And the gameplay is pretty smooth and there is no texture pop out, as you can see. Because this, if uh, you use different settings, texture pop out happens as soon as you open up the map. So this is watery. Um, what I, let me just show you quickly. Uh, okay, so further in the game. I've only got one save file further in the game. Um, this is scratch. And generally what you find is texture pop out occurs more and more the further you go into the game. But at least now with these settings, you shouldn't be experiencing as much texture pop out as you would be. But if you do, there is a way to get rid of it immediately. So as you can see, the textures aren't great, but at least there's no pop out. It's just, I'm sure if you played this game and you're all worried about texture pop out, you would have noticed that over here, the textures get very blurry over here, but with these settings, you can see it's not that bad. And generally, when you open up the map, things get blurry. Okay, there we go. It just happened. So you see, this is what I'm talking about. So all you need to do is go back into settings, go to options, go to graphics, and then put this off and off and low and low. And there we go. That's how you get rid of texture pop out when it does occur. And it, it's just weird. It's like a, the balance of these settings just makes texture pop out. Um, yeah, it, it, it minimizes texture pop out, but it also, um, when it does occur, it's very quick to get rid of it. So let's just go through that again. When you open up the map, especially late game, you get, um, it's going to cause texture pop out. Then when that happens, all you do is you go to options, go to graphics, and then put global reflections off, screen space reflections off, and then just put it back to low and low. And you probably wonder, ask me, but why don't you just put um, uh, those settings off initially, and then you won't get text to pop out? It doesn't work like that. Let me show you quickly. You open up the map and those settings are off. And then before you know it, it, it zones out to, or the textures go muggy again. So then, all you, funny enough, it's when you tweak those two things, it gets rid of the texture pop out. So that's why we just leave it on low. And then we just adjust it when there is texture pop out. But anyways guys, this, I think this video has gone on long enough. Uh, Look, obviously on a GTX 1650, you'd want, uh, especially in a game like Alan Wake, you want to put the settings out, but you just can't because you're going to get, your textures are going to go screwed up. But these, this is a nice balance of smooth gameplay, decent visuals, and a nice way to mitigate texture pop out. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button. If you have any questions, please hit me up in the comment section. And as always, guys, if you're still watching and you haven't subscribed as of yet, now is the time to do so. Have a good day. It's people like you. Cheers. Mm -hmm.